People have been asking, is it okay for a white man to get married to a black lady? Or is it okay for a black lady to get married to a white man? This has brought a lot of controversy among believers. Because there was a lady who shared a revelation on the YouTube saying that God warned her to tell people that a white should not marry to a black, neither a black getting married to a white. That all that do this are abomination unto the name of the Lord. Is it not the God who created the black that also created the white people? The difference here between us is color. Color is what makes the difference between the white and the black. I want to tell you brief revelation that I received. The first time I gave my life to Christ, I saw Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as a black man. He appeared to me and warned me that I should not commit sin anymore if I want to make it to heaven. I never knew that Jesus can come to you as a black person. All this while, as I was growing up, I grew up seeing the image of Jesus as a white man based on the movie we watch. I grew up as a Catholic, the image of Jesus on that calendar they always keep in the church. I see it always as a white person. I now saw Jesus in my dream. When he appeared to me, he came as a black man, completely black man with a low coat. And I knew in my spirit that this is Jesus. Nobody tells me, I don't need anyone to tell me that this is Jesus or that's not Jesus. But this is the very first time that I, Sister Catherine Oja, am seeing Jesus in my dream. This is to tell you that Jesus created the black, Jesus who created the white. He can also use the form of a black to appear to his children if he wants. He can also appear to his children in the form of white because he does not discriminate either we are white, he does not discriminate either we are black because we, the black, we are serving Jesus Christ of Nazareth Whites are also serving the Lord Jesus as well as the black. So, Jesus does not discriminate among us. We are all his children. I don't know where we are getting this from. He wants us to live as one. We are all going to stand before one judgment throne on the last day. We are all going to stay in one heaven. If we make it by the grace of God. In fact, with the revelation I received, Concerning my celestial body, I knew that. So when our work here on earth is over, on the last day, if you paravento make it to heaven, you are not wearing the color you're wearing. We are all putting on a celestial body in Christ Jesus, which is far better than the white skin that we are seeing today. The body I saw that I have in heaven, the celestial body is not a white skin but it's a glorious body. When people begin to say that it is a sin for a black man to marry to a white lady or a white lady getting married to a black man, it's all fallacy. That is what I'm going to tell you. Why are people mixing things up? Where are we getting all this revelation from? Let us focus on the word of God. Are you getting me? Listen to me, beloved in Christ, from wherever angle you're watching me, I have this to say to you. If you pray for the will of God in marriage and the Lord brought to your dream a white man and the white man asks your hand in marriage, please go ahead and get married. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you are sure that that is the will of God for you. And if you are also a white lady, you pray for the will of God and all you see is a black man and a black man comes to ask for your hand in marriage, Please go ahead and get married to that black man. The difference is just color. We are all one. Except God give you revelation personally and say, don't marry a white man, don't marry a black man for some certain reason. Let's be careful. I would advise you to focus more on your Bible and leave other things, revelation, revelation, revelation. Because one day revelation will finish, but the word of God remain permanent to the very end. So think about it. Pray about it. If God is leading you to a black person, go ahead and marry a black person. If God is also leading you to a white person, go ahead and marry 
a white person. You have not committed sin. Our Lord Jesus who created the universe created black and he created white. And he can come in form of white to visit you and he can also appear to you in form of black. And he has not stopped appearing to people as black, neither as white. So many people have had vision where they saw Jesus as a black man appear to them and was talking to them and they knew in their spirit that that was Jesus. You don't need to ask anyone the moment you see Jesus that this is Jesus. Except in posture Jesus and when he comes, the Holy Spirit will always reveal to you that this is not Jesus. So let us be wise. Let's pray for the wisdom of God. Let's always pray for the direction of God to lead us on the right thing we should do before it is late. Or is it okay for a man to get married to a woman that is older than him? This is also another question some people are asking. My wife is uh, 10 years older than me. Is it okay? The first question I will ask you, is it the will of God for you? Did God tell you you are going to marry to uh, an older woman? Did God tell you you are going to marry to a younger woman? People always refer to the Bible where Abraham was 10 years older than Sarah. You are waiting upon the Lord for a will of God in marriage. And paraventure, as you are praying, God show you your husband. And you see that that man is 2 years younger than you, 10 years younger than you. There's no problem. Pray, get confirmation. If God is still saying that that is your husband, go ahead and get married to him. There's nothing wrong about it. And when you pray for a will of God in marriage and you see that your wife is older than you, go ahead and get, get married to her. There's nothing wrong about it. But the only thing I would like to say here is that you must have to pray, get a confirmation upon confirmation, knowing that truly that is the will of God for you in marriage. Either your wife is older than you, either your husband is older than you. So all this you need to bring before the Lord as Savior. Our God is not out of confusion. If he wants to bless you with a husband and he brings someone younger than you, you pray and get confirmation, go ahead and marry that person. Don't wait for anyone to deceive you. You are not the people of the Bible time. You are not Abraham who was 10 years older than Sarah, the wife. Abraham was 100, Sarah was 90. A lot of people have been living happily with their husband. They are older than their husband. God has a purpose why he brings people together. I want you to know today that age is just a number. Please don't allow anyone to deceive you. This is my take on this. I want you to take it to God in prayer and get confirmation from the Lord so that you do what is right and know what people are telling you. You may end up missing your dream man or your dream woman because of diverse of revelation. Remember, revelation will end one day, but the word of God standeth sure. May God help us as we continue to obey his word in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Amen.